Ah, everybody. So this is the Beyond Boundaries breathing meditation that we do every Tuesday. I'm going to record it starting now, starting today. So we'll be able to go through and have access to these at a later time. These recordings and these meditations are completely off the top using a very simple framework, which we've established, which is tapping, breathing, squeezing, screaming, and dissolving. So we will tap, we will breathe, we will squeeze, we will scream, and we will dissolve. And that is the perfect formula to have a very, very nice, deep meditation session and priming our brain chemistry and our energetic body to be able to dissolve, which is the last part of the framework. So without further ado, we will close the eyes and soften the face, the cheeks, the jaw, putting the teeth on top of one another, letting the tongue fall to the bottom of the mouth and just observing where we're at now. Here in through the nose, take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Making the belly inflate like a balloon. Take another deep breath in. And let go. Now we will start a simple process of box breathing. So we'll breathe in for four seconds, hold for four seconds, and then breathe out for six seconds. This will be done through the nose. So with our palms facing the sky on our knees, or if we're laying down, that's okay. With our palms facing the sky next to our hips, We'll once again, soften the face, put the teeth on top of one another, and relax the tongue and cheeks. And now all through the nose, unless your nose really isn't able to function, then you could make a noise sounding like this. Like you're breathing in through a straw. You could do the breath like that only if your nose is not capable of keeping up. But for now, try to use your nose. So through the nose, we'll take a nice exhalation out, making sure our tummy goes in towards our spine when we breathe out. All the way out, and then breathe in. Hold the breath. And breathe out. Hold the breath for two, breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold the breath. Now breathe in. Hold the breath. And really try to expand the belly, breathe out. Noticing the diaphragm here and how when we breathe in, how we can use our diaphragm to expand more. And then hold the breath. And breathe out. And then to the diaphragm, we will breathe in. Hold, breathe out. Hold two, breathe in. Hold, and we're gonna hold a little longer this time. And breathe out. And hold the breath here. And we're going to hold a little longer here, too. And then fully into the belly. 
hold, breathe out. Now we'll take a nice breath in to transition to say OM. OM is A-U-M, the sound of creation, the sound of our heart's oscillation. So together we'll breathe in and say OM three times, fully in. officially started and we will transition into the next portion of our breath where we will dive a little deeper and expand a little wider, breaking beyond the boundaries of our subconscious programming and allowing a deep clean as though we have a pressure washer full blast to our brain and to our pain bodies and subconscious programming creating more space in our brain. That is what we're doing now, is creating more new pathways, waiting for us to create new connections and new neural circuitry in our brain. So our brain is a perfectly primed, empty vessel for when we leave this practice today and for the days to come, I really encourage you to use your brain wisely and be very attentive to the things that you do, being very present, single point focused, as though when you're looking at your computer or writing with your pencil, nothing else exists except the task at hand and an undivided attention towards the object or task at hand. This is how we establish new neural networks in our brain. Modern science has now come to find that through doing breathing techniques, you can actually put yourself in a state where you're more like a child in the sense of such a pliable mind, so easy and ready to be able to learn a language or to learn this new complex concept that maybe for somebody's brain and mind who has all these impressions, it'd be a little harder to receive and apply this information. So know that now, with all that being said, you have just signed up for yourself to be able to really implement and apply new knowledge for the days to come. And your brain is the perfect playground for creativity and for expanding your inner world and your outer world because of this breathing. So without further ado, let's get right into the practice. So this once again will look like softening the face. And if you've opened the eyes, it's okay, just close them. We'll have our eyes closed for quite some time now. And the first breath that we'll do is a balloon belly breath. It's going to be through the mouth now, actually. And we're going to be breathing past the point in our belly button. So the idea here is to make the beginning of our breath go right to the belly, filling it up like a balloon, and then the chest. It'll sound like so. Breathing all the air out. And with me, we can breathe. Fully in and letting go and letting go and letting go. 
to the bottom of the belly, to the chest, and all the way to the head, and letting it all go. Filling the bottom of the belly, all of the belly, and the chest, and the head, and fully in, and letting go. Fully in, and letting go. Fully in, and letting go. In, and out. Fully in, and out. In. In and now in and now and for these next couple of breaths, give it all you got in to the belly, all the belly, fill up until there's no more space in your body and out. No time in between the inhalation and exhalation with power and valor in and out. With ease. I'll go with valor and power in. And now. In. And now. <sighs> Giving it all we got. And now. Any sensations are okay. Continue breathing at that pace. All the sensations in the body and the brain are okay with power. Now, continue to breathe as I remind you that your body has the keys and the intelligence to be able to fill all of your bloodstream with more oxygen. And soon we're going to be getting into a breath hold. And what happens when we hold our breath is all of this newly cultivated oxygen in our bloodstream then gets dispersed evenly and excessively to all of the muscles in our body where we hold tension, continue breathing. And where we hold the issue, where, where inside of the tissues, that is where is the issues. <laughs> So right now, we're going to take one more full breath in. And hold for three, two, one. And let all of the air out, sucking your belly in until there's no more air at all in you. And then take a nice swallow here. Relax your cheeks, relax your jaw, relax your forehead and your tongue. And know now that in your body, you have so much oxygen inside your bloodstream. And what they would say in Qigong and in Chinese medicine is in your blood, this is where the energy flows. And in yoga, throughout our whole being and our blood, our energy flows. So now our bloodstream, just on a physical, chemical, testable basis, you are now having some of the sensations in your body and brain. And what you're feeling happening is your blood is breaking the brain blood barrier and putting oxygen in all the parts of your body that need it, in your tissues, in your brain. That's why you may feel some tingling right now, and that's okay. It's actually good. That means you're tickling new parts of your brain and body that hadn't previously had the right nerve connectivity to the brain and body. So feeling our heart rate, as you may have the urge to breathe now, don't breathe yet. Allow the sensations to continue to be softening into them. For those of you who really can't hold any longer, you've already breathed, that's okay. For anybody who can't continue to hold, that is okay. But take a full belly, chest, and head breath in, a balloon belly breath, and a hold at the top of the breath. But if you can still hold, 
Continue to focus inward. Continue to sense the pulsing of the heart. Softening more and more. In ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Everybody who's already breathed and hasn't breathed yet, take a full breath in, belly, chest, and head. And hold at the top. Now squeeze your anal muscle. Really focus on softening your shoulders here first and squeeze your anal muscle. Now feel at your waistline. You can pull those lower abdominal muscles in and up, along with your upper abdominal muscles. From here with our shoulders pinched back, we're gonna put our chin to our chest while still keeping that anal muscle engaged, very focused on keeping that engaged and feeling the abdominal muscles pulling the energy up and now putting our chin to our chest, focusing on the top of our brain to our crown, the top of our spine. Now squeeze a little harder. And now with the focus of energy moving upwards, vibrate with energy with all that you can, with all of your will. And only for now, five, four, three. Now you can let go while looking up with a sigh out. And having the chin be parallel to the ground once more. Take a nice nose breath in here. Continue to feel the sensations that you, my friend, have just cultivated for yourself. And this, ironically, also is benefiting those around you. The eminence in your eyes from this heightened prana or chi heightened energy in your being, you're now able to go emanate this to the world. So thanking ourselves for showing up for ourselves once more, without further ado, getting into the second round, which will be a different breath. It's a double inhale through the nose or the mouth, and then it's going to be a sigh out. This inhale is very full. It's not just, it's, with me continue Filling all the way with oxygen as much as we can and sighing it out, double, fully in, getting to the top of the lungs and letting it out. Hold at the top, now suck in a little more through your mouth. So there's no more room. And now we're gonna practice that anal lock again. Now pulling the lower abdomen, upper abdomen, and chin to the chest, filling our energy with this newly heightened prana. And then looking up with a sigh. And hold the breath here. On the exhale, you holding the breath. Fully in and hold at the top. 
focusing all of our conscious awareness on the point in between the eyebrows, our gaze actually elevated above the horizon line, looking up subtly, holding our breath here. As though there was a flick of a candle, your eyes, when they go left or right or up or down, just bring them back to that same point, needle point focused. And you can release in five, four, three, two, with the sigh. Very good. Now we'll go into the third stage and round of breathing. This next breath will be very, very, very fluid. The idea here is to make it so your breath, may there be shakes or twitches inside of your central line. We're bringing a deep heightened awareness of the feelings in the spine and how the beginning of the breath puffs our belly out like a balloon and then goes right up to the chest, but watching that central line, not where your left rib cage is and not where your right rib cage is, not where your left hip is, your right hip is, but breathing down, expanding all of the left and right parts of the belly, but having your focus be swiping through and following the breath from below the belly button and in a straight parallel line with your belly button up to the center of your throat, chest, chin, nose, and watching the breath go all the way up. We're going to do a few rounds of breathing here and it will be 20 full nose breaths. And then these breaths will be long and full, watching our energy move up and down the spine and then our next round will be 40 breaths of medium-sized breaths that will sound like this. And then our quick breaths will sound like this. So now we will get right into it. We will breathe in through the nose. This is all through the nose. Switching 
now to medium sized breaths. Pumping the belly here, making the belly generate fire. Continue, and now we're going to do that, but make the sound. Just like this. Last one. <laughs> cultivated in the body, bringing our awareness to the noises around you. May it be your laptop or the surrounding sounds, the sound of silence in between each syllable of my voice, becoming hyper-focused on the sound of silence. Take a deep breath in. And let go. Take 
Take another deep breath in. And breathe out. Become aware of your feet, scanning the space in which our feet take up. Our shins. Our knees, thighs, genitals. Stomach, navel region, the region below the rib cage, now become aware of your heart. Not only the beating heart, but also the vortex of energy in the center of your chest and in your spine. Now for the duration of this flute, we will stay hyper-focused in the space in the chest. So though there is a soccer ball sized sphere of energy, it's not as though there is, there is. Become aware of it.
take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Thinking in the radio receiver of our heart, just feeling the space there once more, moving our awareness up to our throat. Our throat is where creation happens, internally and externally. May our throat and voice, inwardly and outwardly, be heard with more love and spoken with more truth. Take a full breath in. And breathe out. I'm aware of the point in between the eyebrows and how this point connects to the center of the brain. Doing so, we can send our cosmic demands to the source via looking with our gaze as though there's a candle wick with the candle's flame. Now seeing this flame, looking at it in between your eyebrows, gaze slightly uplifted. And then also while your gaze is here, feeling the spot in the center of the brain it helps to feel towards the back. Feel the back of your back, the back of your neck. Feel the back of your middle back, the back of your center back, and back of your upper back, and then the back of the back of your neck, and the back of the back of your head, and now the center of your brain. And scan this area from the middle of your back to the upper back, back of neck to the center of your brain. And notice when you scan here how you can find the pulsating center in the center of our brain. Search now for this pulsating sensation in the center of your brain to these sounds.
center of the brain. Focusing on the point in the center of our brain, taking a deep breath in. Now, in this relaxed state that we have appeared in, breathe all of the air out. Now, hold the breath for a moment. Squeeze your anal muscle as tight as you can, then start breathing in through the nose while squeezing. Now, while your breath starts to get to the belly region, pull the belly in and up, the abdomen in and up. Now breathe all the way to the chest until there's no more space for air. Put your chin to your chest, continue to squeeze your anal muscle and focus undivided attention to the point at the top of the head and in the point in the front of the head, in the brain, center of the brain, all of the brain, all of the head. Now squeeze a little more, make sure the anal muscle is still tight and the belly is core is still tight. Everything's tight, pulling up and in, up and in, up and in. And at your own time, you can breathe out through the nose and bring your head parallel to the ground, chin parallel to the ground. Now take a nice transition breath in here. Very good. Now let go. Become aware of the whole body. The whole body. The body is like a tree on a mountain. The mountain is so vast, and our body is an extension of it. What flowers, what fruits does this tree produce? Does this tree produce fruits of gratitude? With our conscious awareness, focus on our heart and in the center of our brain and summon the feeling of gratitude. However you may think of something that has been that you've been grateful for, or if you've cultivated this enough to just turn the switch to make gratitude be sensed energetically, please do so now. Mm. 
For those who are new, feel the heart, feel the chest, focus on the chest, and feel gratitude. If you try, you will. Focus. Feel gratitude. Become aware of your thoughts. Any good thoughts or rushing, racing thoughts. Let them be. They come and they go. Slowly and gradually, you can wiggle your fingers. Slowly and gradually, open your eyes. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> dude, <laughs> so good. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that was a powerful one. <laughs> good, good. Awesome. Dang. 
Yeah, I like I like how it was kind of had different. It was definitely a journey of different techniques and um, intensities, and it felt bal like it felt very well balanced. Like it, like it, kind of went up, and then. So like I feel like um, even people who aren't experienced with breath work might be able to to handle it more doing a, a prolonged breath work session like that. Yeah. Cool man. Good. Yeah, it's annoying, man. I, I think um my knees are like feeling some type of way because I <laughs> I've been sitting I've been sitting here like doing computer stuff. Um, and this is like my seated desk for like, I don't even know, like five hours at least today. Uh, and also today was leg day. So I think that I need to like walk around and like shake my knees <laughs> before, yeah, I yeah. Sit, before I sit here for another two hours uh, for the yeah. podcast, 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I was my, I had to move my legs around a little bit, but sometimes when I, after like 20 minutes of Lotus, um, sitting in the lotus position, my legs get kind of numb. Um, yeah. So I, I had to kind of switch around a little bit. And then at yeah. the last last five minutes, I got up on my bed. But um, dude, wow. <laughs> but yeah, dude, if you want to get up and get your legs moving, I'm sure they're sore. <laughs> yeah, dude, five hours today at least, at least. So um, yeah, dude, it was so good to connect with you before and after the call and um. Yeah, your eyes look like really lit up right now after doing that. So that's cool. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, Sweet my world. Computer... I was about to say my computer's about to die anyway. <laughs> perfect, bro. Perfect. Joe, I belong to you, bro. And I'm super glad that you're a part of my life. And uh, I'm going to post this. Like, I don't know when I'm going to post this, but I'll post it at some point. So. <laughs> dude, like, likewise. Likewise, yeah. exactly what you said. <laughs> Awesome. One love, bro. I'll see you soon. One love. <laughs> Peace. Peace, brother. Peace. Yeah.